Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that are new, hi, my name is Amanda. Um, I am a wife, a mommy, and I actually recently just had a baby. I was on Weight Watchers before that, before I got pregnant, and now I am attempting to get back onto Weight Watchers, which is why I am making this video today, um, is to let all of you guys know my, um, uh, long time subscribers and my new subscribers is that I just re-signed up with Weight Watchers. Yay! I'm so excited. But yeah, I just signed up. I just put in all my information, uh, da -da -da. which my weight, I obviously, I haven't been to the meeting yet, so my weight may change, my points may change, but I am thrilled. So real quick, I just want to share with you guys what I had for breakfast because I completely forgot to record that. I had a half of an avocado for four points. I had that on the Aunt Millie's 15 whole grain uh, toast, two slices of that. They're big slices of toast. That's eight points, four points per slice. And I had a cup of coffee. I, I'm going to have to tweak some of this stuff. But I had about a tablespoon of uh, cream for two points, two teaspoons of half and half for a point and then I had three pumps of the um, uh, mocha latte foam for zero points. So that is my breakfast. What is that? That is a total of 15 points for breakfast. I apologize you guys are probably going to hear my toddler Evie playing in, the back, playing in the background. So to start with I have 56 points. I am a tall woman. I'm six feet tall. I'm not going to share my starting weight yet because it's probably going to change once I actually weigh in at the meeting. Um, and then I'm also breastfeeding, so I get a crazy amount of points right now. When I saw... Hey, Amy. Thank you, baby. Uh, when I saw the amount of points that I was going to get, I was, oh my gosh, blown away. So I'm excited. I, I went ahead and signed up. Uh, I'm close. I'm not back to work, but I'm getting closer to going back to work. So I figure we'd be okay budget-wise. I'm 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 kind of playing around with how I want to do these vlogs. I I'm, I'm I want to figure out what works best, of course, for my kids and then for my sanity. So you're gonna see some tweaking. I'm right now. I'm gonna try daily vlogs and see how that works. I don't know what I'm going to do because aside from Weight Watchers videos, I also want to do some lifestyle videos. So I just have to figure out how to make everything balance. As long as I get to spend time with my kids, I'm happy and I get to have some fun with editing. That's my top priority. So y'all, of course, as always, just bear with me. And yeah, I'll just keep uh, sharing with you guys what's going on with Weight Watchers and then look for some lifestyle videos. I've been working on editing those. So, all right, I'll see you guys at the next snack or meal. Okay, so now for my coffee, I'm going to put in some coconut milk. I've been mixing it up with my coffee. I've been putting cream in pretty much every time, but sometimes, aside from cream, I'll put either coconut milk or regular milk, or um, I have some half and half I'm trying to use up. So I'm going to start with three tablespoons of this coconut milk and just see if that gets me filled up to the top of the, the cup. Three tablespoons is going to be one point. more and four tablespoons is still one point so I think that'll be good so what is that a fourth a cup I think four tablespoons is a fourth of a cup so one point coffee almost forgot I'm gonna add three pumps of the foam for zero points Have you ever felt are you listening damn
So I just wanted to point out to you guys, I, th I hope, hopefully you noticed, I started doing an exercise and I stopped and I did something else. That's because I pulled a muscle in my back um, a couple days ago. So I found when I tried to do those modified burpees, I, it just pulled my, it just aggravated my lower back muscles even more. So I just lay down and did some crunches. I'm listening to my body and trying to do what's best for it. And I encourage you to do the same. I just wanted to show you guys I was unable to finish my coffee. I'm still going to count that as a point, but I'm just going to dump the rest of it because it ended up going cold while I was doing my workout. So. So that workout was just under nine minutes. Um, it's just a round of exercises, like doing um, several sets in a row, what do they call that, super, a superset. So now um, my youngest daughter, Aria, who is uh, now two months old, is starting to wake up. So I had just enough time to get my workout in and now it's gonna be close to feeding time for her. So I'll get her fed probably get some lunch here in a bit and then I'm going to try to get as many rounds of that of the exercises that you saw in today as I can. Okay guys I am having a post-workout fruit snack. Um, one banana, zero points. So uh, I now is the uh, apparently the afternoon witching hour. I don't know if it, the camera is picking up but I had to put Evie down for a nap because she was starting to get uber cranky so I don't know if you guys can hear that but good word the afternoon is usually spent dealing with cranky butt upstairs and then cranky butt in her swing which she's actually doing good right now she's uh, gonna go back to sleep for a little bit and we'll get her fed here in probably the next half hour to hour or so but I, this cr these cranky kids they get my nerves all worked up and I find myself getting pretty emotional like I get really frustrated uh, I get I, I just feel like this rush of of emotions and energy and it's not positive my knee-jerk reaction is to go to the pantry and get something sweet the pantry or the freezer whatever it is I need something sweet and I need it now like I'm a total emotional eater, so I ha this is a problem that I need to work on. I don't know exactly how to catch myself. If you guys consider yourself an emotional eater, what do you do to kind of slow down, take a deep breath, check yourself, and not you know eat an entire container of like cookie butter or whatever? So let me know down in the comments. As always, I value your guys' advice. For the beginning part of my lunch, I'm going to have some meatballs. Um, these are pork meatballs, and uh, they are 11 points. Hey, Smiley. Hey. Hey. No, oh, look at that smiley face. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hi, Aria. Hi. Oh, sweet girl. He's really a bit for mommy. Yeah. Aww. So my sweet baby is tired again. She's fed. She's happy. So I put her back in her swing to kind of rest for a little bit. I'll flip the camera around here. There we go. Uh, so I wanted to put Aria on just to kind of show a, a, of these happy moments in, in my life. This is what helps me to just kind of relax get mo and also get motivated to just be healthier and happier and just overall a better woman for my babies. So while my babies are definitely a cause of my stress and frustration and overeating, they're also the reason why I want to do better and be better. So don't get me wrong, I am very proud of the woman that I am. I just want to be the best woman, the best woman that I can be. So, all right. I, uh, oh, before I forget, I did have uh, one more meatball, so I'm up to 14 points for my meatball, uh, meatball consumption. Um, 
I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm going to try to get a little bit of a nap in before Evie wakes up. Uh, so I'm going to listen to my body and just get some rest. I didn't get much sleep last night with this little one keeping me up. So I'll see you guys later. All right, so a semi-nap has been had. It was more like closing my eyes for a few brief moments, and now everyone is awake. So, luckily though, when things get stressful, I have help. Say hi, help. Hi. <laughs> Say hi, stinker butt. Hi, Susie. Yeah, she's saying hi, Susie. <laughs> so, help definitely helps my stress level. Imagine that. So, the girls are getting a snack. Actually, all girls are getting a snack. Ari is over here cuddling up to me, eating. And I may get myself a little bit of a snack here. I'm going to drink some water and just kind of wake up and see how I feel. So we're getting a little bit of exercise in, walking the dog in the house. Someone's just along for the ride here, kind of fussing. But yeah, we're just walking around, looking out the window. Yeah. Just trying to relax. Just trying to relax. Hmm. Hey, you guys. So... <laughs> I never did get to eat more for lunch. I never did get to eat a snack. We are now about to start making dinner. So, tis the life of a mom with young children. <laughs> so, we're gonna be making some grilled barbecue chicken and I'll have some vegetables and then a pasta salad. I don't know if I'll have the pasta salad yet or not. But as always, I will show you what we have for dinner. So I'll just turn around here so you can see what's going on. Yep, hubby's home. So I have some free hands. And then Evie's hanging out with Daddy. And then Aria's just hanging out in the swing. And Destiny went upstairs to do her tween thing. I have no idea what she's doing. So I call them boys. <laughs> so I'll be back at dinner. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. dinner you guys I have a big old thick um, about five ounces worth of chicken breast for three points I'm sorry actually it's five points if you include the barbecue sauce on top actually it's probably more like four points because there's not a whole lot of barbecue sauce not two tablespoons worth mm -hmm. um, some roasted Brussels sprouts some roasted butternut squash and then two ounces of the pasta salad which the pasta salad is six points Hey guys, I am ending the night with some avocado pudding. So I just wanted to show you what I'm putting in it and what the points values are before I make it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done mixing it all together. So I have half of an avocado for four points. I'm going to be putting in um, two tablespoons. I might put in one tablespoon, but two tablespoons of maple syrup is six points. If I just do one tablespoon, it's going to be three points. Um, I'm going to do a tablespoon of cocoa powder for zero points, a, a teaspoon of chia seeds for two points, and then a tablespoon of cacao nibs for four points. So here is my uh, uh, avocado pudding. I apologize it's not the, like the prettiest presentation. I'm kind of in a hurry. But I ended up using half of a teaspoon of chia seeds for one point two-thirds of a tablespoon or two teaspoons 
of um, the cacao nibs for three points. Um, I end up going with the two tablespoons of maple syrup for six points, a tablespoon of the um, cocoa powder for zero points, and then still half of an avocado for four points. So all together, a 14 point dessert.